Johnson. And Johnson to throw. Bennett, little swing. Got great speed. 45-yard line, very close to a first down. Third and long for Johnson. Underneath, he's got the first down at the 41-yard line. And it's his tight end, Richard Angulo, and his fourth all-time. He has always been very smart, very accurate. Moweldy Moore gets his first carry, and Moore pounds his way inside the 20-yard line before he's driven out of bounds. When Johnson straight back under some pressure, steps up. Has the completion down to the 13-yard line. Corin Robinson, who had such a tough ride out in Seattle. Klein, Saucer, and Wiggins, a pair of tight ends. Here comes the blitz. Johnson, end zone, touchdown, Travis Taylor. You know what? That's as much Travis Taylor and Brad Johnson, but the guys that deserve 90% of the credit, that offensive line. Kick off and drive the length of the field for the touchdown. 7 nothing Minnesota. Ball of the throw in rhythm, something he did so well a week ago. And this one to Derek Mason, his 75th grab of the year. Play action. And Bowler helped out by Mason with a sensational catch. Bowler with good protection, throws to Heath, his favorite receiver. And Heath down to the 45-yard line where Brian Williams got it. Last week, and here are the Minnesota Vikings. If you get to see it, they let him get out. Pressure coming on Bowler, throws underneath. And the Vikings close very quickly on Mason. Mason may have enough for the first down, though, as Ralph Brown drilled him as soon as he made the catch. Two. I'm telling you right now, this guy is not getting off the line free. Nobody touched him last week. Jamal Lewis showing you the speed that he's got on that big frame. That's the way he ran when he picked up over 2,000 yards two years ago. Blitz coming, they pick it up, and Jamal Lewis runs right through that hole down to the 24-yard line. Let's check in with Susie. With Todd Heath on third and short. Bowler, good catch out of the shotgun. Makes a good throw, and Todd Heath's got the first down. Spun down by Lance Johnstone. I <laughs> think. Put your back somewhere. Bowler, short set, nothing there. Dumps it off. And Mahaley down to the 10-yard line. Mike, Kyle Bowler looks like an entirely different quarterback. I think it's maturity also. I think he's finding a comfort level. It's a joke, though. I know, I'm just kidding. You. Mark Clayton is in. And Jamal Lewis pounds it inside the 10. Quarterback keeper, Bowler. First down. You know, this is... If, if people don't really realize sometimes how critical a quarterback is on a quarterback sneak. Four wide receivers on third and goal. Forward. Back of the end zone. He touched it. Ralph Brown tried to cover him. You try and put a corner on him. The thing is, Ralph Brown's 5'10", 185 pounds. Cut the clock. We're tied at seven. his body for next year he said he hoped to stay healthy like everybody else and they don't think he's held back they think he's still running very very hard here's bowler in trouble and down he goes back at the 12-yard line a lot of pressure that time sam cowart the former buffalo bill and a, a pro bowler in the division kyle bowler up trying to walk it off before he gets his chance to come back on the field Travis Taylor makes the catch from Brad Johnson. After those opening drives, neither team's been able to move the ball. Nice catch by Klein Saucer. Now they're down at the 38-yard line. Time when we see you there, Mike. 
All right, thank you, Chris Brad Johnson, the corn Robinson, and Ed Reed just leveled. <laughs> I love Ed Reed. I'm telling you, Ed Reed is one of my favorite players ever. And Ed Reed, you talk about timing. I'm going to tell you what. Watch the hit, folks. That, that, Win. I mean, oh, that ought to make Monday night's jacked up show. Illegal contact. You're talking number 21 of the defense. Five yards from the previous spot. <laughs> Hey, you want Chris some illegal contact? Yeah. for the penalty. You want some illegal contact? He's lucky his face wasn't with it. Blitz coming. And Brad Johnson does the only thing he can, throws it away. They both sports. Well, an illegal cut. Number 64 offense. 15 yards. Repeat second down. Anthony Herrera. The starting left guard with an Ill illegal block. Williamson, number 19, is in as an additional wide receiver. Johnson underneath. Williamson, nice catch. Down the sideline. Williamson to the 40. A blocker in front to the 30. And Troy Williamson all the way to the 15-yard line. A gain of 56 yards. How about that speed? Oh. Theatric Faison is the new running back. The pass to the corner, caught at the goal line. You're dead. Faison comes out of the pile. He was not down, and he will lose yardage all the way back to the five. Jarrett Johnson, number 95, made the play. You know what this is, Joseph? This is when the defense takes over and... Comes back in a tailback. He's number 30. Johnson to throw over the middle. Touchdown. It's Wiggins. And Brad Johnson fits another one right over the middle. What a throw. His first <laughs> touchdown catch of the year. What a throw by Brad Johnson. I mean, first, you have to win. Bowler with good protection goes underneath to Taylor. Or Mark Clayton, excuse me. And Clayton, run out of bounds. For a rookie, he has a lot of savvy. Smart. Four-man rush, good protection for Bowler. Throws again, and Clayton makes the catch up at the 43-yard line. They'll stop the clock with 43 seconds to go in the half. Third down, Ravens trying to keep this two-minute drill alive. Bowler again, now he'll go underneath, the flag is down. Taylor breaks a tackle, gets inside the 40, but they threw the flag back near the line of scrimmage. And Bowler has played pretty well coming off the best game of his career. They need him here. Completes that one to heap and heap down to the 26-yard line with 14 <laughs> seconds to go. Brian Williams took him out of bounds. Yeah, but right. Well within Stover's range. Four-man rush. Bowler. And not out of bounds. The clock will continue to run. Now they'll stop it as Antoine Winfield made a saving tackle on Clayton. And they have to use the timeout to stop it with six seconds to go. Right down the pipe. So Bowler engineers a nice two-minute drive, gets them in field goal range. And then make it a 14 to 10 ball game. Guys playing for jobs tonight. How would you evaluate Kyle so far? Well, I think he's done some excellent things. It's an excellent drive to, to end the half with. Uh, we just got to do what you always do in football. You got to tackle better. You can't give up big plays by not tackling. So uh, it's a dog fight. It's just what we expected. Thanks. The third quarter kickoff. And Edinger hits a good one. Taylor from the four. Lost the football. The Vikings had a great shot at it. No signal yet from Jerry Austin and his crew. This doesn't even fall in the category of coughing up a ball. This is just a giveaway. Brad Johnson, who had a sensational first half, gives to Mowelde Moore. Moore cuts back down to the 18-yard line. Him, hit the plays down the field. Johnson with the fade and into double coverage incomplete.
intended for Marcus Robinson, a veteran he likes to throw to. Headed for the intersection of where the ball was going to be. Also, he hit him in the head. Edinger for the field goal, so the Vikings turn the fumbled kickoff into three. Back to Baltimore with a seven-point game. Some places that have helped solidify this defense. Third and nine. Bowler with good time goes underneath. That's going to be a first down. Taylor makes the catch out in the flat, turned it up, and had plenty of yardage. Dude. Bowler out in the flat this time for Jamal Lewis. Lewis across midfield. There's a flag down in the secondary. Well, they they just about uh, Todd Heath about ripped him apart. You talk about holding a guy coming off the line of scrimmage. Holding number 57 of the defense. I would hope so. Five yards, automatic first down. That's Randall Smith that started the season. Blitz coming. Bowler hangs in there and throws. And there's a rarity. Teddy Cottrell, the defensive coordinator of the Minnesota Vikings, decided he wanted to blitz Powell Bullard. This Nader's not to come after you. He just unloads and rockets this thing. What a catch. What a catch by that young man. He has really asserted himself at the end of the season. Ralph Brown played him as well as you can. Quarterback. Corn Robinson deep to receive, but it's a short kick taken by one of the up men and will be great field position for the Vikings. They're up past their 40 to make plays for him the way Clayton did. Pressure on Johnson. Wiggins to midfield. But always knowing and not listening to, to your critics. Third and four. That'll be a first down as Burleson makes the catch on another good throw from Brad Johnson down to the Ravens 44-yard line. They're on their feet in Baltimore. Blitz coming. Johnson knocked down incomplete intended for Williamson. Chris McAllister on defense, but there's a flag down on the play. He was being held. Holding number 21 of the defense. Five yards, automatic first down. Big blitz. Quick release, and the Vikings are going to come out of this in great shape as the pass was complete to Travis Taylor. What a job by Brad Johnson. He saw everybody coming and got it out of there in a heartbeat. What a big plays against his former teammates. Came to Minnesota as a free agent this year. Moore again couldn't get by Suggs. Johnson in trouble. Down he goes at the 23. That's a holding penalty. Pressure from the outside. Johnson throws oh. and it's dropped. Brad Johnson got the ball there and they can't convert it. Taylor had the ball at the six-yard line. 40-yard <laughs> oh. field goal try by Edinger. And the Vikings have regained the lead with 4.14 to go third quarter. Bowler underneath Taylor. Trying to get enough yardage for a first down, and he has. That's such a nice job by Kyle Bowler. He is just livid that that wasn't called. Blitz coming. Bowler is drilled, and the pass nearly intercepted Devontae Edwards. And Bowler, this may be roughing the passer. I'll tell you what Sharper did. First of all, he did grab Hate going by. But then after, he, he, was, he really was beaten on the play. And then Sharper goes, well, he, you know, don't worry about it. I, I had him covered, which you didn't. Then you come back and make another play where you hit the quarterback. Both times. Had a perfect angle to see it. Bowler, big third down here. 
This one's complete, and it's enough for a first down. Mason made that catch before he was drilled by Fred Smoot. You know what's so impressive, and this is Jim Fossil as an offensive coordinator. Eight out of 11 on third down. Great success for them. Bowler. Mason! Touchdown! Oh, does he run a sweet move on Anton Winfield. Up the last two weeks, the evaluation of Kyle Bowler has got to be an A. I'll tell you, I give Jim Fossil an A plus two on the way he's called this game. Every time... The Minnesota Vikings have tried to come after Kyle Bowler. They have gotten burned. Two if you're auditioning, that's not bad. In this fourth quarter. Pressure coming on Johnson, and down he goes at the 15-yard line. Suggs underneath. And over the top, Kelly Gregg and Kimoyatu. Correct answer here in Baltimore. Out in the flat to Lewis. It's another decisive play by Bowler. He looks downfield, doesn't find his first receiver, but he's proving him wrong. Bowler down the middle, too high, and it's picked off by Striper. Oh. Darren Sharper, who is on the way to the Pro Bowl, gets his ninth interception, the 45th of his career. Ravens show blitz and come with it again. Johnson trying to stay alive, does. Mawelde Moore, what a move, and he's got a first down. That was sensational. Well, together. Johnson under pressure, completes another one to Marcus Robinson. Another blitz coming. Johnson, Klein Saucer, or Wiggins rather, and he'll be stopped a yard shy of the first down. Might feature Jamal Lewis in this situation though, wouldn't you? Nope. Lance Johnstone after Bowler. Mason makes the catch. He'll pick up 10 or 11. Well, I'm gonna, I'll am i tell you what. Bowler to the shotgun. Blitz coming. They've been burned when they've done it, and they're burned again. Clayton gets out of bounds. <laughs> Bowler to throw on first down. Pump fake and deep. And throws it out of bounds as Mason. Now there's a flag down. It's in the secondary. And the indication it's against the Vikings. Holding 55 of the defense. Five yards. Already first down. Sam Cowart. The, the uh, first quarter. <laughs> Chester Taylor lowers his head, picks up a couple of extra yards, give him six on the run. So good at Oklahoma after making the catch. And that was something the Ravens didn't do very well at all. And there goes the big man. Jamal Lewis inside the 25. The playoffs or a chance to go home? Hines is the only wide receiver, and they'll keep it on the ground with Chester Taylor. And this will take us to the two-minute warning and send out the Ravens field goal team. <laughs> Here's Stover from 38 yards out. And it's a seven-point ball game. Delayed blitz. Loose ball. And the Ravens have it. A Dallas Thomas. Jamal Lewis. The Vikings have to go for the football. Guys, we, we all the options that you have. Where is he going to go out really now and, and find any coaches that he can that he can actually bring in when he doesn't even know if he's going to have a job? 19-yard try that would make it a 10-point ball game. And does. So the Ravens. 
appear to have slammed the door on the Vikings' hope of staying alive in the playoff chase. And it really is going to be a test. The Vikings facing a nearly impossible task now as Wiggins makes the catch and gets out of bounds. In San Diego, but I don't think, I think this kid's earned the right to play football here. Wiggins I mean, again. I think, like I said, in, when I said in the beginning of the show, I believe that Kyle Bowler, he was handed the quarterback job. And they, they thought, I mean, a lot of these guys thought, well, you know, this is not a good thing. Moore down to the 39-yard line. The Vikings can no longer stop the clock except with an inc incomplete pass or getting out of bounds. So partially the organization's responsible, too. Wiggins again. He's caught three passes on this drive down to the 29-yard line. Clock continues to run. And Johnson hustles him up to the line and downs the ball. Kills the clock with 20 seconds. See, I think... The smart call. Edinger from 46. Now they got that three. Now the onside kick. That's which the is first my favorite part play. of the formula. That's right. This is my favorite part of the game. You better make sure that you hit those guys coming down to try and field it. Here they go. Watch this. Yeah. Recovered by the Ravens at the 40-yard line. From Baltimore, the Ravens 30, the Vikings 20. Stay tuned for Sports Center for Joe Theismann, Paul McGuire, Susie Culver, and our entire ESPN crew. This is Mike Patrick saying goodnight from MT Bank Stadium in Baltimore. Merry Christmas, everyone.